So I want to know what adventure you would come up with using just these five characters. So I put out the call and my buddy Chris Brimage replied. Before we get into this, let me tell you a bit about Chris. Chris is the comic book mastermind behind Mandrel P.I. If you like what I do with my Gorilla My Dreams comics, then you really will love Mandrel P.I. Make sure you follow him and uh, pay attention to his updates because there's more novels and comics coming soon. So the first thing Chris Brimage said was that I need to make stats for Mastiff. Now, if you don't know who Mastiff is, Mastiff is my comic book that I've just released. Uh, it's a horror comic book. Basically, it's uh, Jason Voorhees meets Hamlet. Not literally, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's that kind of a mashup. So Chris wants me to make some stats for Mastiff. I was uh, going through my old horror clicks uh, because I was pretty sure that I had a Jason Voorhees horror click there that would be perfect because my character Mastiff is very much um, a, a Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers type ripoff character. Um, but I couldn't find my Jason Voorhees miniature. So what I got instead was The Fiend from the first series of horror clicks. So for all intents and purposes, this is Mastiff. Um, Character-wise, it's very close to what Mastiff is. Uh, a creature that's come back from the dead, uh, a childlike mind, and a uh, taste for revenge. And look, bringing uh, an extra character into the fold uh, kind of breaks the rules of what we're doing here, but these videos really are just a, a launching point for, for ideas um, you know, to play in the game. So, you know, if you take one of my videos and you alter it and you add characters or take characters away, hey, that's fine. There's no real rules here. Um, so let's get into it. So Chris starts his story with uh, Spider-Man and Toxin. Now, um, the way Chris tells his story is that I think these guys are actually the players. Um, the book has stats for Spider-Man and uh, you know, rules for symbiotes, so it wouldn't be a problem uh, if you've got two players, one of them playing Spider-Man, one of them playing Toxin. So in Chris's story, Kingpin is up to his usual organized crime shenanigans, and Spider-Man and Toxin are on their way to stop him. And as Kingpin often does, he has hired some super muscle to help out on his current crime spree, including Tiger Shark and Overdrive. So while Spider-Man and Toxin are preparing to take down Kingpin and his thugs, Mastiff turns up seeking revenge on Kingpin. And basically, uh, you know, Spider-Man can't let rage-filled monster just be killing people, even if they are villains. Um, so I guess the mission is Spider-Man and Toxin have to try and save the villains one by one before Mastiff can actually find them and tear them to shreds. And it plays out like a superhero slasher film, which I find very, very cool. Um, you know, the, the Fantastic Four reboot. It wasn't a great movie. You know, it, it, it just... It deserves a lot of uh, the flack that it gets. But the one thing that I really liked about it was when Dr. Doom returned to you know, our dimension and was walking through that warehouse and just murdering people you know, throughout. I, I found that super cool in that movie, something we don't see in superhero films. So um, I, I really like this idea that Chris has tapped into. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. Um, it's awesome to see some other ideas people are coming up with instead of just mine. Um, make sure you follow Chris on his social medias and get your hands on Mandrel PI if you can because it's a great read and I love it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back soon with another video. Be good to each other.